Hi everyone, this is Barry with Roadrunner Fitness. I'm an ACE certified personal trainer, group fitness instructor, and health coach. And today I'm going to resume our home workout series and make a video for you all to follow along from home. Let's get started. Before we start the workout, just wanted to let you know that the only equipment we'll be using today is a couple of washcloths like these and also a stopwatch or a timer. You'll also want to perform some of the movements in this workout on either a wood floor or tile floor where you can get some slide. With that, go ahead and gather your equipment and we'll get started. We're going to start today's workout with a warm up. We're going to do three movements for warm up to get our blood pumping and our muscles warm up. The three movements are going to be jumping jacks. We're going to do inchworms, where I fold forward and take small steps forward, optional push up at the bottom, but otherwise I'm going to full plank and then small steps back up, stretching into those hamstrings and also windmills. So I'm wide stance and I'm just reaching for the opposite foot and also stretching my chest upward. So we're going to do 50 jumping jacks. 30 windmills, that's 15 on each side, and 12 inchworms. Go ahead and get started with the warm up, and then I'll guide you through the rest of the workout. All right, everyone, for our first circuit, we're gonna do four movements. We're gonna do four sets of each, and we're gonna start the set, each set at the top of each minute. So for each movement, we're doing every minute on the minute, we do a new set. The four movements are gonna be inchworm slides, squats, push-ups, and one leg glute bridge. And don't worry, I'll go ahead and display the rep ranges for you on the next screen so you can pause it with the full instructions. So I'm gonna start out with inchworm slides on the ground. I'm gonna use these, this is why I need my washcloth my wash so I can slide on the ground. Folding forward, all the way, I'm keeping my hamstrings pretty straight, small steps out here at the full plank, and then I just squeeze those feet to my hands. And then I'm gonna walk back, I'm gonna do it again, nice and slow. But keep in mind, you wanna be able to finish eight of those within the minute, and the rest of the minute you rest, and you start eight more at the top of the minute. So four sets of those. Then we got our squats. Shoulders back, okay? I'm gonna be weight on my heels, I'm gonna press those hips back, and then up through the heels. Hips back, up through the heels. My shoulders are staying back, core is staying tight. 15 squats every minute on the minute, four rounds. Then I got push-ups, rolling my shoulders back, chest stays out, core is tight, come down, and inhale down, exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Notice my elbows were here at a 45 degree angle. They're not all the way in and they're not all the way out here. I squeeze those shoulder blades back and I'm at a 45 degree. And finally, the fourth and final movement of this circuit will be one leg glute bridge. We're gonna hold each side for a total of 20 seconds. So I'm gonna hold my right legs up, just straight out, thighs are in line with each other. I'm pressing through that left heel here and I'm just gonna hold. I feel it engaging my core and engaging my glutes. Finally, the other side into the heel, press up through the glutes and I'm holding and I'm just gonna hold here for 20 seconds so hold for 20 seconds on each side, rest for the remaining 20 seconds, and then start a new round every minute on the minute for four rounds for each of those movements. I'm gonna display that on a screen for you now. You can go ahead and get started. Those four movements are gonna take you 16 minutes. Let's go. All right, let's get ready for our second circuit. Again, we're doing four movements four rounds of each, every minute on the minute. Here's our movements. We're gonna do a plank hold. I can either do a plank hold from a full plank position or also known as push up position and just hold this. I'm holding for 40 seconds. Or I can do it on my elbows. This is my preference here, holding a plank on my elbows. When I'm holding the plank, I don't want my butt up. I want it completely straight spine, knees locked out, tight core, okay? Straight as a board, that's why they call it a plank. Next movement's gonna be hamstring sliders. I'm going to use these washcloths again. 
I'm going to be flat on my back on a slidey surface like tile or wood floor. And I'm flat on my back. My core is engaged. Spine is flat. I'm going to start here and I'm squeezing and I'm pushing through the glutes at the same time and then down. So I have to keep a tight core, pulling those heels back, pressing up through the glutes and then down nice and slow. A modification for this would be to come here, press up glute bridge, uh, then just slide out nice and slow. Pull, press, glute bridge, slide out nice and slow. So I'm going to do 12 of those every minute on the minute. Next one is crab taps. So I'm just starting from this crab walk position and I'm going to alternate pressing opposite hand to opposite foot. And I'm going to do 16 of those every minute on the minute for four rounds. And then finally, gate swings. Gate swing squat. I'm gonna start with my feet together and I'm opening up and closing. Okay, again, nice form here. Shoulders back, chest out, core tight and getting those hips back into the squats. 16 of those every minute on the minute for four rounds. Again, four of each makes for 16 minutes of movements, all right? Let's get started. All right, so here we go. This is our last set, last round. We're doing one movement, four rounds, every minute on the minute, we're gonna do eight burpees, okay? Or at Roadrunner Kit Fitness, as we call them, bumpies. So we're gonna come down, just pressing down, kick out, optional push up, kick up, jump. Fold down, kick back, optional push up, Okay? So I'm doing eight of those every minute on the minute for four rounds, and that's gonna finish this workout. Let's go. All right, Roadrunners, let's not forget a cool down. We're gonna go ahead and stretch. I want you to stretch your quads in a flamingo position here, your hamstrings in some sort of forward fold. I want you to stretch your glutes we can do that with a pigeon. Okay, just kicking that front leg in front of you, kind of crossed. And also, probably a hip flexor stretch is a good idea to loosen up those hips, especially if we've been sitting a lot. So it's just one leg out in front, and I'm pressing into those hips to stretch this muscle right here. Okay? And then also, stretch the chest. I'm going to grab something like this, and I'm just going to open up, stretching into that chest, and even turn my head this way. So go ahead and spend at least 20 seconds, um, sets of 20, 20 seconds at a time, stretching each of those muscle groups. All right, if you like that workout, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You also can tune in on Roadrunner Fitness Facebook page for occasional live workouts, also workouts posted there. Follow our Instagram. Looking forward to seeing you soon.